Demo 7.7 .7, Fulfillment Process with Warehouse Movements In this demo, we will complete the fulfillment process with warehouse movements. Please refer to the demos from the Fulfillment Process chapter for an explanation of the process steps. In this demo, we will focus on the warehouse management movement related to fulfillment. Use the SAP Easy Access menu to navigate to the transaction. Alternatively, enter transaction VA01 in the command field to access the transaction directly. For this demo, we will use the SAP Easy Access menu. In the order menu, select transaction VA01 Create. Enter the order type, sales organization, distribution channel, and division. Then click the enter icon to continue. Enter the sold to party, PO number, material, quantity, requested delivery date, and plant. Click the save icon to create the standard order. The system displays the standard order number in the bottom left corner of the screen. Note this number and click the back icon to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will now view the initial inventory levels in our plant storage bins. In the display menu, select Transaction LX03, Bin Status Report. Enter the warehouse number, storage type, and storage bin. Click the Execute icon. The system displays the bin status report overview screen, which provides a list of the storage bins that end with 000. Double click the storage bin number that contains the DXTR2000 material. In the store bin tab, we see that currently there are 500 bikes in the storage bin. Click the back icon until the SAP Easy Access menu is reached. We will now review the Inventory Management view of Inventory. In the Stock menu, select Transaction MB52, Warehouse Stock. Complete the Material, Plant, and Storage Location fields, then click the Execute icon to view the stock level. The system displays the stock of the selected material. There are 500 bikes in stock. These amounts are the same because the inventory management stock level is equal to the stock in the storage bins plus stock in the interim storage bins. Click the back icon twice to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will now create the outbound delivery document for our sales order. In the single document menu, select transaction VL01N with reference to sales order. Enter the shipping point, order number, and selection date. Click the Enter icon to continue. Enter the storage location for finished goods. Notice that the picked quantity field is not editable. This is because the storage locations in the San Diego plant are warehouse managed and the picking is completed by the steps in the warehouse management process. Click the Save icon to create the outbound delivery. The system displays the outbound delivery number in the bottom left corner of the screen. Make note of this number and click the back icon to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will now review changes in the bin stock level. In the display menu, select Transaction LX03, Bin Status Report. Enter the storage type and storage bin data. Click the Execute icon to continue. Double-click on the storage bin number for the DXTR2000 material to view the bin details. In the Store Bin tab, we will see that the stock in our bin has not decreased. Click the back icon until the SAP Easy Access menu is reached. In the Stock menu, select Transaction MB52 Warehouse Stock to view the stock in the Finished Goods Storage location. Enter the proper data and click the Execute icon. The system displays the Display Warehouse Stocks of Material screen. Note that the warehouse inventory has not decreased. 
We will now create a transfer order to remove the goods from our storage bin. In the Create Transfer Order menu, select Transaction VL06P via Outbound Delivery Monitor. Enter the shipping point and picking date and select only WM Picking. Click the Execute icon to continue. Select the Outbound Delivery and click the TO in Foreground button. The system displays the Create Transfer Order initial screen. Click the Enter icon to continue. Verify that the data are correct and then click the Save icon. The system issues an error message. We need to specify the location from which we will move the goods. Enter the bin type, storage section, and storage bin number. With the proper data entered, click the Enter icon. Note, if you do not know any of the necessary data, open a new session and display the storage bin to find them. The system displays the transfer order number. Make a note of this number and then click the back icon to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will now view the storage bin inventory. In the display menu, select Transaction LX03 Bin Status Report. Enter the storage type and storage bin number and click the Execute icon. Double click the storage bin number that contains the DXTR2000. In the Store Bin tab, we will see that the inventory has not decreased. To return to the SAP Easy Access menu, click the back icon until the menu is reached. Next, we will look at the inventory in the Finished Goods Storage location. In the Stock menu, select Transaction MB52, Warehouse Stock. The data will be defaulted in the fields. Click the Execute icon to view the stock levels. The screen indicates that there is still no change in the inventory level. Click the back icon twice to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will now confirm the transfer order. In the Single Document menu, select Transaction LT12 in one step. The system displays the Confirm Transfer Order screen. In this screen, the data should be defaulted. If they are not, then you need to complete the TO number and warehouse number fields and click the Enter icon. The system displays the data for the transfer order. Verify that they are correct and then click the Save icon to confirm the transfer order. The system displays a message in the bottom left corner stating that the transfer order was confirmed. Click the back icon to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will now review the stock in the storage bin. In the display menu, select Transaction LX03, Bin Status Report. Enter the storage type and the storage bin number and then click the Execute icon. Double-click the storage bin number that contains the DXTR2000. In the Store Bin tab, we will see that the stock has decreased by 50. Click the back icon twice to return to the initial screen. Enter the outbound delivery number in the Storage Bin field and click the Execute icon. Note that the Storage Bin number is used as the interim storage bin number. Double-click on the storage bin number that contains the DXTR2000. We will see that the 50 bikes removed from our storage bin have been moved to the interim storage area. To return to the SAP Easy Access menu, click the back icon until the menu is reached. We will now view the inventory in our finished goods storage location. In the Stock menu, select Transaction MB52, Warehouse Stock. The data will be defaulted from the previous entries. Click the Execute icon to view the stock level. 
the screen indicates that the stock level in our storage location has not decreased. This is because we have not completed the inventory management side of the fulfillment process, which is goods issue. Click the back icon twice to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will now update the outbound delivery. In the Change menu, select Transaction VL02N, Single Document. The outbound delivery number should be defaulted. Click the Enter icon to continue. Notice that the picked quantity is now 50. Click the Post Goods Issue icon to continue. The system displays a confirmation that the outbound delivery has been saved. Click the back icon to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will check the bin inventory again. In the display menu, select Transaction LX03 Bin Status Report to view the stock in our storage bin. Enter the storage type and storage bin number. Click the Execute icon to continue. Double-click the storage bin number that contains the DXTR2000. We will see that there is no change in the inventory level. This is because the warehouse management side of the process is complete. Click the back icon twice to return to the initial screen. Enter the outbound delivery number in the storage bin field and then click the execute icon to continue. The system displays the bin status report overview screen, which indicates that there are no longer any data for the specified bin. When the goods issue is posted, the materials are removed from the temporary bin and the bin is deleted. Click the back icon twice to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. In the Stock menu, select Transaction MB52 Warehouse Stock to view the inventory in the Finished Goods Storage location. The data will be defaulted from the previous entry. Click the Execute icon to view the stock level. The stock level has now decreased by 50. The decrease occurred when we posted the goods issue. Click the back icon twice to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will now create an invoice for the customer. In the Billing Document menu, select Transaction VF01 Create. Enter the outbound delivery number in the document field and click the Execute icon. The system displays the Invoice Create screen. Verify that the amount is correct and click the Save icon to post the invoice. The system displays the document number in the bottom left corner of the screen. Make a note of this number and then click the back icon to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will now post the incoming payment from our customer. In the Document Entry menu, select Transaction F28, Incoming Payments. Enter the document date, bank account number, amount, and customer number. Click the Process Open Items button. The Process Open Items screen displays the line item and the amount. Verify that the Not Assigned field at the bottom right has a value of zero. Click the Save icon to post the customer payment. The system displays the document number in the bottom left corner of the screen. Note this document number. Click the back icon to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. Demo 7.7 .7, Fulfillment Process with Warehouse Movements